wish he had wrote a book. So I took that to heart and started writing a book. Um, I began writing again when I was a kid, but really it wasn't until I got to college that I had that same experience of, well, some strange events might make an interesting story someday. But I also had the opportunity as an educator to teach a, a course on fiction writing. And that was when I really started to look at it more critically and really understand uh, what goes into crafting a story. Because most people think, well, you can just sit down and write plot characters and whatnot, but there's so much more that goes into it. Um, and what drew me to speculative fiction specifically is it's an opportunity to pull from a different genre. Does anybody, did you guys know what speculative fiction is specifically? I didn't know until I started writing my first book. I thought it was horror was horror and fantasy was fantasy. So to find out that there was something that really suited my needs and pulled from all different areas, I found to be pretty exciting and interesting. Um, and so that was why I chose that specific path towards speculative fiction. And I'm Stuart. I started also as a little kid. I would write things, I would go to camp, and I would write stories for this camp paper, and uh, I was also a big comic book fan from day one. And I started making my own mini comics, where I would fold the papers over, and I'd make it, and I'd staple, and I would do my little stick figure uh, things, and I would create mini comics that would pass to friends in class and stuff. And from there, I did journalism in school, I wrote stories for different types of papers, and then in the last uh, God, the 20 plus years, I've just been writing uh, and just taking the whole idea. Speculative fiction, for me, uh, that, that terminology came from Harlan Ellison, even though I know it was, it was a very famous science fiction, well, speculative fiction author, who did not want to be classified as just uh, science fiction felt that it, his work had a larger breadth. So um, for me, it's running the gamut through horror, through fantasy, through science fiction, through dystopian, through utopian fiction, through all the different types that are of interest. Now, um, you know, I was also influenced very much by the Twilight Zone, you know, by Rod Sterling's writing, you know, by the way that those stories were uh, taken part of. So. That's my, st that's my background. So uh, when I was seven, I started, I was really into a show called Inuyasha on a Volkswagen. And I uh, really got into anime, and I started going online, and I found uh, communities where people would actually take characters from the show and role play as if they were those characters. And um, it started really simply, one sentence, uh, an action, and then the next person would go and do one sentence from their character's perspective, and then an action. And I did, I built my way up um, I evolved from being 